And well, a Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer called on Israel to hold new elections, saying he believes Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has lost his way and is an obstacle to peace in the region amid the growing humanitarian crisis there. Schumer, uh, the Jewish majority leader in the Senate and the highest ranking Jewish official in the U.S., strongly criticized Netanyahu in a 40-minute speech on the Senate floor. Listen in. If President Net Prime Minister Netanyahu's current coalition remains in power after the war begins to wind down and continues to pursue dangerous and inflammatory policies that test existing U.S. standards for assistance, then the United States will have no choice but to play a more active role in shaping Israeli policy by using our leverage to change the present course. The State Department spokesperson Matthew Miller said that Schumer's call for new elections in Israel are his comments and not those of the administration or President Joe Biden. And so I think there is a suspicion out there that um, Senator Schumer was putting out publicly what had been being said privately no that is not that is not the no, case those those are these not. these are these are statements made by senator schumer not by uh the uh biden administration okay so there's no frustration in the administration with uh, prime minister netanyahu and his government look oh. there are always there are a number of things that we want to uh to see israel do differently we've made that quite clear i've said it from this podium as you know a number of times and we've made quite that quite clear in direct conversations with the prime minister Meanwhile, thousands in Israel took to the streets demanding an immediate release of hostages from Gaza. Protesters calling for the release of hostages marched from Tel Aviv Square, carrying enlarged images of women taken hostage by Hamas on October 7th, briefly blocking the highway at one point. In Gaza, the health ministry has said that at least 29 Palestinians, meanwhile, have been killed while awaiting aid in two separate Israeli attacks. In the first incident, Palestinian health officials in Hamas ruled strip said eight people were killed in an airstrike on an air distribution aid distribution center in Al Nusayrat camp in central Gaza. Later, at least 21 people were killed and more than 150 were wounded by Israeli gunfire at a crowd awaiting aid trucks at a northern Gaza roundabout. And according to Gaza Health Authorities, Israel's air, sea and ground assault on Gaza has killed more than 31,000 people and wounded over 71,000 so far. Efforts to reach a ceasefire between Israel and the Islamist militant Hamas uh, has, have so far failed. Palestinian Islamist group Hamas says that it presented to mediators a comprehensive vision of a truce deal that is based on stopping the Israeli aggression against Palestinians in the Gaza Strip, providing relief and aid and the return of displaced Gazans to their homes and the withdrawal of Israeli forces. Prime Minister Netanyahu has earlier called the truce proposal unrealistic. Now, on the other hand, the Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas has appointed his longtime economic advisor Mohammad Mustafa to be the next Prime Minister. A second ship, meanwhile, with food aid to Gaza, was being loaded in Cyprus as the first ship in a pilot trial of maritime deliveries near the besieged Gaza enclave. Food uh, NGO World Central Kitchen said it was loading a vessel at the Narka port with 300 tons of food. To reach the Gaza Strip again. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.